Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is David and I am immigration lawyer in Italy. Today we are on a beautiful alley of Forte dei Marmi near Vialeggio in province of Lucca. Today is March, the sea is not very calm, but as you see everything is very pretty, is very calm, is very beautiful. Even a sort of romantic river like this looks amazing. Today we come here to accompany and help one of our clients to do a family reunion. So for you to know, every person that gets a visa type D and a residency permit in Italy can make a family reunion with a family member of first grade parent grade. That means children, that means parents, that be husband, wife. So we can help you just by coming with a US passport in Italy with a tourist status or tourist visa to make actually and accomplish a family reunion being already in Italy. So you don't need to apply to Prefectura to obtain in eight or 12 months a new Laosta, so a sort of certificate that allows your parent to come in Italy. Do not do that. Listen to my advice. You come in Italy as a tourist, you come to lawyer Davide and I can help you properly and legally to make a family reunion already in Italy. We call this, technically speaking, not family reunion, but family cohesion. The requirements are the same. Family grade, income and availability of a lodging for the family member that makes the reunification. But the reunion is made when the family member is abroad. The cohesion is made when the family member is already in Italy. This trick already is something that we usually tell to our clients in a private and paid consultation. So please make it yours and remember it forever. It's very, very precious advice. But in order to do that, it's not that simple because when you come to the fingerprints in the police department and immigration office, you need to demonstrate three main things. Eventually birth certificate or marriage certificate, that's kind of easy. We get it from abroad, even for you on a proxy. We make it with apostille and translation, it's Italian, first step. Second step, in order to reunificate to you a family member, you need to prove that you have an income in Italy. You might be wondering, but what if I don't have? It might help our accompaniment to prove them that you have a bank account, but in some cases you really need to file a small tax declaration in Italy that you actually can legally do for the previous year, self declaring it. That's how the Italian system works. That's how I can guarantee to make it for you legally. We don't make fake documents. Fake documents are not our case. We cannot do that. There is no way to make fake documents. So again, we can help you to demonstrate your income. And third, most difficult point, you need to have a lodging. But this lodging, this apartment, this house, this villa has to have enough square meters to host enough amount of people. So for two people, usually we require about 50 square meters, 500 square feet. That's a minimal availability for two people, approximately. But it's not sufficient to have a lodging saying that it's square, 50 square meters. You need to go to the town hall, to the technical department to prove it that is available for that amount of people. That document is called Idoneta Logiativa. So it's a sort of lodging donated kind of this. In order to do that, you need to hire a person, a helper, maybe a lawyer that certainly can know what documents to ask from the landlord, bring them to the town hall, pay a small amount of taxes, about a couple of hundreds of euro, and in about 30 days to get this certificate on hands. If you go to the fingerprints and make a family reunion in this way and you do not have these three documents, you will be rejected. That's not something you're gonna want to happen. My strong advice is, please come to my advice, come to my consultation. I can explain you how you do it by yourself. We can provide you full service in order to make your family reunion or every first grade family member already in Italy just by a touristic visa. That's a very non-standard service. You might hear somewhere that somebody does this, but the best way is, you know, to treat a thief only with the dentist. You're not supposed to ask advice to a friend how to treat that, right? So you're supposed to go to a professional, to a lawyer that knows everything about this. It happened that some cases came to me after the fingerprints was already denied and there was a denial. We can actually can help you also to appeal against this decision. All these topics about family reunion will be treated again on my channel in a future video. So please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay connected to our channel because we are the best professionals here in Italy to make immigration processes of every type of residency permit. I talk with you with 
previous video that there are almost 20 types of residency permit in Italy that we can help to do. I'm pretty much ready to reply to any questions here below. Please, a like will be very helpful to appreciate my job. Subscribe to our channel and we keep in touch. Thank you so much.